Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up your Minecraft server uh, to play with your friends. Uh, this is the version 1.17, the newest, uh, currently the newest version in uh, Minecraft with uh, Caves and Cliffs updates. Uh, this video will focus how to set up your server on your machine uh, without using Hamachi or port forwarding. We will be using some free open source program that will be uh, connecting you and your friends so you can play together. Just follow along and I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to set up your server and play the newest updates with your friends. Also this video will be uh, split in categories so you can follow along more efficiently and all the links and everything else you need will be down here in the description. Just one disclaimer, uh, for hosts machine, uh, the machine that will be hosting the server, you'll need a decent PC, that means at least 8GB of RAM and stable internet connection. Ok guys, you will select the first link in this video section and it will lead you to zerotier.com We will be using that to connect us with our friends You can sign up or log in Since I have an account, I'll go to login And I'll be choosing my Google account You can do the same thing in sign up section So I'll be doing that And just choose your gmail account uh, that we'll be using to log in on zero tier once you're logged in you will have the menu like this just go here and create a new network now select that network you will have network id here and the name of the network here you can change that if you want access control i suggest you keep that on private and the last setup we need to do if you want, it's optional. Uh, it's IP before auto assign. This uh, will be the IP address in within your network. You can change the template if you want. Uh, for every user in your network, be the beginning will be the same. Only the last digits will be different depending on the user. And that's about it for setting up the server. I suggest you keep this window open for later. Now, when you're done with setting up your server, just go download and choose the operating system you are using. Ok guys, now I'll be showing you how to install Zero Tier 1. Just go and uh, double click the installation and it will open up. I'll do that on my second PC since I have it installed on the main one. Just, rec uh, just click install and wait for the process to finish, confirm that. Now click finish and on the right corner of your screen it will be installed, you will see 0 tier 1. Now just right click and uh, you will see your node ID on the top, click on the join network and for that we need network ID uh, that we saved previously. I hope you left that window open, you will see it up there, just uh, copy. And now go to the zero tier one and just paste the link, uh, the ID, and click join. Click uh, yes. Otherwise, it will not work. If you are Windows Seven, you don't need to click anything. It will be connected automatically. Now go back to your room and refresh it. Now you need to scroll down and to see if we are joined on this network. As you can see, one device uh, has joined the network and we need one more device for that. But uh, before I connect, uh, I'll show you there is the node ID of the user that just connected. And now I will connect myself. Join network and paste the id of the network join and now it should pop up uh, now just confirm say yes and refresh this again as you can see both machines are connected now on this network and they are connected between them and you can type the name here if you want and that's about it now you are connected
Okay guys, so I encountered some problems while making this video uh, with uh, Java, so I wanted to help you out if you have the same problems. First and foremost, you need to download Java. If you don't have downloaded, just go here and click here. If you have 64-bit system, it will work fine for you, but if you are on 32-bit system, you, uh, this method will not work at all. You should uh, try some other methods. But for others, just download this. If you haven't downloaded Java already, if you have Java on your system, you can check that uh, really easily. Just go to command prompt, type cmd in a search bar, and type uh, Java version, just like this. And you, sorry, if uh, and if you have Java installed, it is uh, it will say what version is currently using. So you are good there. If uh, it doesn't say Java version, or it says something like uh, Java is not uh, it internal or external command, it means you don't have Java installed. So just click here and install it. After you're done with the installation, you can uh, come back. For the next part, after you're done installing your uh, Java 8 version, you'll go to the second link in the description. This is the link you'll brought to, you'll be brought to this page and just uh, install Windows 64 compressed archive check here and download after you downloaded the file just go right click and extract you'll get this folder just go right click and copy find your uh, Java folder, it should be at program files and paste it there, as you can see I already did that and that's about it for this part we can go now and configure our Java go to right click on your computer and select properties scroll down until you find advanced system settings uh, this window will pop up, system properties, go to advanced tab and you'll see at the bottom environment variables, click on that, go to system variables now and find variable named path, all caps, go to edit and as you can see this is the folder of Java 8 and we want to add another folder that we just pasted go to the place where you pasted the last folder run files java open jdk bin and now just use this and go click copy new paste ok and I suggest you move this up just in case, I'm not sure if this is needed, but it worked for me, it should work for you. And click OK. And that's about it for Java configuration. So to set up your server, you'll go to the link in the description, you'll go to minecraftversions.net and you'll download the latest version, 1.17, and just click download. And uh, select server jar. After you download your server.jar file, go to notepad or notepad++ and paste the command uh, from the description in your notepad. This command will start your server, but uh, you can uh, change the values here. These values will uh, change how much RAM your server will be using. Uh, currently, my server will be using 6 GB of RAM. You can lower that values if you don't have enough RAM, you should uh, try and test it out but uh, if you have PC that has uh, lower than 16 gigabytes you should lower these things around 3 gigabytes that's around the yeah 3072 but I'll keep it at uh, 6 after you done tweaking around here just go to files save as um, give it a name uh, name is not important but after the name you should go to dot and bat this is the important part, this part right here, uh, otherwise it will not work, and select all types, 
and click save after that you go and create a new folder name it whatever you want and drag this to into your folder server.jar and the bat file you just created and go and double click the bat file this uh, window should pop up and you see you need to agree to EULA in order to run a server we'll click enter go to EULA.txt go right click and edit or open with notepad and we'll just instead of false type true and save it then we'll run the server again after it's downloading you'll see this it will load the preparing spawn area to load everything just go and type stop and now we created our server but we want to manage our server and go to server properties server dot properties uh, open it your notepad if you haven't uh, already and now we will need to change some things here first thing we are going to change here is online mode if you are not playing on premium you want to change this online mode to false max players will lower it to 10 and I don't know maybe we'll give it a name test server and I think I'm we are fine with everything else yeah we can change difficulty or other some other stuff but I won't do that now just go and control s or go file save if you want to be 100% sure you'll do that close that now let's just run the server again now your server is up and running and now we need to connect to our server let's do that now uh, just open up your minecraft when you're on your minecraft you go to multiplayer go to add server or direct connection i go to direct connection just to show you and you type local host As you can see, I'm joining the game right here. But uh, since I'm the host, uh, I can just join with uh, this without typing any IPs. But if I'm the guest, I need to use my other IP, and I'm going to show you now how to use how to find that IP to join on your server. Now, for your friends to connect to your server, just type zero tier one in your search bar. It should open up in the right corner, right here right click on that icon and go to show networks now fun network that you guys connected to as you can see it has managed IPs just go and copy this IP and send to your friend without this thing in the end maybe you don't even have it but just look up your IP if you're not sure in uh, on the site and that's pretty much it now this is the IP your friends will be using to connect to your server and everything should be working if you follow along correctly I know it worked for me because I already tested with my friends as you can see there is a little gameplay in the background right now if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them below and I'll see you guys next time bye bye